Hey Sharks, Andrew Keen, CEO and founder of AlphaSharks.com. Throughout the next 30 weeks, we're gonna give you option education curriculum, 30 chapters total, 20 hours we have on our education side. I like to kind of do it you know, through video so you can see my face, you can see my reactions. Today we're gonna to be talking about calculating profitability and break even. You know, last week we talked about calls and puts, so we got a general gauge of what calls and puts are. We're gonna get into the Greeks a little bit later, but let's talk about profits and break even, okay? There's two ways to kind of look at profits and break even, okay? Number one, selling the option you are long out. So, the thing about options, which is just like stocks, futures, or forex, if I decide I wanna get rid of my position at any point in time, for example, today I was long Devon Energy puts. Those went from 80 cents to 90 cents. I sold my position and I made 10 cents, which was $10 per one lot, but I actually made, you know, as a percentage point of view, about 12.5%. So if I want, at any point in time before expiration, I can sell that position out for either a profit or a loss. Hypothetically speaking, we'll go to Apple, we'll look at those Apple Jan 150 calls, and let's say I bought these for um, seven dollars. Okay, stocks trading 140. There are components which we're going to go over for you guys in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for the next couple of weeks, and we're going to go over how this price moves up and down. These are determinants of what we call the Greeks. Okay. So this option right here will move up and down as stock fluctuates and implied volatility fluctuates as well. So over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna teach you these components. Delta, gamma, theta, vega, okay? Rho is over here as well, which is interest rate risk, but that's not really a big component anymore because interest rates are so low, okay? So the first way is to sell the option you're long, sell the spread you're long, if you sell them naked, buying them back, okay? So if you sell the option you're long, the great thing about options, guys, you don't have to hold it till expiration. If you choose to hold it at expiration, we're gonna go over the break even on that as well. But selling your option out. So let's say Apple moves based on the delta, which you call the black shoulder price amount, delta, gamma, theta, vega. These go up to eight bucks, okay? And let's say you own a one lot. A one lot is the right but not obligation to own 100 shares of stock. Okay, if it went from seven to eight, that's $1 profit times 100, so it's $100 profit. So this is you know, profitability if I was to exit the position before expiration. Next coming up guys, we're gonna talk about holding the option position to expiration, how to calculate your break evens on expiration. Hey Sharks, Andrew Keen here. We're gonna go to the second part of profits and break even. Okay, so we talked about exiting the position before expiration. Okay, some of you guys might want to hold it to expiration. How to calculate your break even on expiration? Easy, very, very simple. I'm going to give you a little secret or a little tip of how you can calculate this just like that. Simple and easy. Within 10 seconds, you'll know if on expiration if you'll be profitable or not with this little tip and trick I'm going to teach you guys today. So this will be holding the position to expiration. Let's get a new color out here. Red. You know what they say red is? The color of love. Goes. So holding calls and puts until expiration, okay? And I hold positions until expiration. Um, I call these are more binary bets, where I'm either gonna make money or I'm gonna lose money. Um, you know, I have a position in GameStop, I have a put butterfly, we're gonna go over put butterflies in a later chapter. Um, but put butterflies is basically a binary bet, I'm gonna make money or lose money, okay? There's nothing really in between the bottom. So holding calls and puts until expiration. So we're just gonna go over the example that we had here, okay? And I'm long the Apple, January, 150 calls for seven dollars okay so this is the easiest simple trick you're ever going to learn okay if i hold this option until expiration my break even on this call is going to be strike price b is known as break even strike price plus price paid okay how easy is that guys okay so if i hold this position till expiration my break even is 157. Strike plus how much I paid. Boom, just like that. You guys learned a great tip and trick today how to figure out break even on expiration, okay? So, the right to buy, the right but not obligation, as we learned last week, the right but not obligation to buy Apple at 150 between now and January. If I was to hold it, I paid $7 to the right. So, 150 plus 7, it was where the stock would have to go for me to break even. Simple and easy trick. Break even 
is strike plus the price paid, 157. If I was belong to Jan, 100 calls for $55, okay? Strike price, 100 plus 55, our break even is 155. So this is a great way to figure out your break even on expiration for calls. Next, we're gonna look at puts. So, we'll go, puts will be red because it means to the downside, okay? Let's say we are short, oh sorry, we're long. Bulls, you're distracting me with your beauty. Long, the Netflix, Jan, 135 puts, or $5. So for call break evens, we take strike price, because the right but not obligation to buy stock, plus the price paid, gives us a break even. Puts is the opposite, okay? So our break even here is going to be strike minus price paid. So, I have the right but not obligation to sell Netflix at 135 between now and January if I was to hold this until expiration. I paid five dollars, my break even would be 130. Simple and easy. Okay. So 135 minus five is 130. And it doesn't matter where the stock goes. Okay? So here's the stock. It doesn't matter if it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. If I'm holding this trade until expiration, okay, this is the easy and simplest math, a little tip from the trick. Calls break even, strike price plus the price paid for the option. Puts is the strike price minus the put, the price paid for the option. It's a really, really easy, simple trick. You should just repeat it in your head over and over, and this will really help you with your trading if you were to hold these positions until expiration. I mean, if Netflix goes to $200, your break even doesn't change, okay? Apple goes to $800, it goes down to $10, your break even never changed. So strike plus price paid for the calls, and then for puts, strike minus price paid. So this is your recap on profits and break even, guys. Last week we went over calls and puts. We have another chapter next week. We're gonna start going over the Greeks to help you understand option education 101 a lot better. This is Andrew Keen, CEO and president of AlphaShark.com. Hopefully you guys enjoy your option education.